So James, I know what a frog is. I've mm -hmm. kissed plenty in my time. <laughs> I don't know what a floral frog is. Well, we've got these three floral frogs here that our friend Bunny Williams has designed for Ballard Designs. And I think they're so great because they're elegant and practical. So they can look good sitting around or they can look good being used. All right, so the next flower arrangement that I wanna make is a flower arrangement. It's going to be kind of a traditional arrangement, a little bit of a twist. Mm -hmm. And this is the frog that's going to dictate that shape. So we need a container that's gonna fit within there. And the container that we wanna use is this tortoise shell glass piece here. I so, love tortoise. I love tortoise too. It is it's, probably one of my favorite things. This is a rectangle, okay. and this is kind of a tradition with a twist. And you can see that I arranged it in a traditional um, notion, but then I have a twist where I'm using the amaranthus to hang down from up high and create some movement. And then I love how it's just trailing all the way through. All right, first step. Mr. Turtle wants to go for a swim All right. in his uh, tortoise shell vase here. I so like tuck him in there. Good to work, Mr. Turtle. Fill with some water. And that's the first step. I mean, really, the hardest part has been done because Mr. Turtle, he's doing all the work because he has to hold everything up. I like it when things do things for me. He has the weight of the world in his <laughs> shell. Anyways. Here he is, anyway. he's ready to get started. So remember, I like to start with greenery. Okay. And garden greenery is great. So in this case, again, I'm gonna use camellias. And so camellias look so good in any arrangement, but what I love to do, to do is to use something that you have in your own garden. And you said you have camellias in yours? I do. So we're gonna tuck. I was looking at them yesterday. So this is going to be a tradition with a twist. Look how this arrangement has more of a, of a, a wider kind of rectangular shape. I'm gonna let this shape dictate how the arrangement's gonna turn so, out. So for a long dining table. For a table, long dining table, it would be, be great. Okay. It surely would, it surely would. So here's a couple of these, and I'm gonna add in, cutting some stems just a little bit shorter so that they will won't stick up too high. And then we're gonna add some more of these in here. You see Mr. Turtle's gonna hold those two up for me. Mm -hmm. He's gonna hold this one up for me. And then the next thing that I wanna do is add the next layer. To me, it's gonna be the hydrangeas. And so what I like to do sometimes is start with whatever the biggest flower head is and use that. So we'll tuck these in. And whenever I'm working with an arrangement that has kind of four corners, like a rectangular vase, right. that's how I've started with this one. So oh, okay. I'm using these to kind of tuck in the four corners here. So one, two here, and I'll add this fourth one here and then kind of connect the dot. So you see we've kind of made a ring and what it's done is it's, it's given us a great place to work from. And now we're gonna fill in on this back side here. So filling in back here, I'm gonna use a couple more hydrangeas up top and then we're gonna use some more of the larkspur and the delphinium. Okay. Here's a wonderful bunch of it right here. You could use other things. If it's springtime, you could use things like forsythia and quince. It looks like dill. Doesn't it look like dill? Yeah. But it's not. It's pretty. <laughs> Fold you. So here's one of these great things about this. Remember, it has a hollow stem. So it's gonna drink a lot of water. But if you use this in a big vase like that, look how it just kind of flops over. Right, you know, right. it's just kind of range out like that and it would take so much. If you sunk a frog down in there, well. It would take half the floral. Exactly, so it saves a little bit of time and money. Yeah. Okay. All right, how tall do we want it to be? Probably a good few inches shorter than this. So I'm gonna cut these down about four or five inches. And then I'm gonna start tucking these in. Here you go. I wanna try. All right, what's our next step? Our next step, my dear, is to add a little more twist. This is very traditional in the shape that we have here, but I want to use the amaranthus in a way that rather than hanging from the side where you normally would expect it, I want to put it in up top and let it hang from the top and kind of droop its way down. Okay. Add a little bit of movement and drama to it. So, so trail down the Trail side down it. Right so Ooh, rather than cutting so it, isn't that beautiful? I love that. So I'm gonna add a little bit over here and then I think we can give this a quarter turn spin around and it's ready, ladies and gentlemen. That really, really was easy, honestly. I told you, the frog's doing all the work for I you. I not believe you, but no. So here we go. Good. All right. Nicely done. A traditional arrangement with a little bit of a twist with amaranthus hanging down. All right, can you do it? I'm taking it home with me today. <laughs>